This is one zero, and this is zero one. I'm very pleased you're going to be improving our system. It is a great pleasure to work on such a large mobile computer. Gentlemen, if this is what you call enhancement, you've got a gift for understatement. I wanted to show off a little tutorial on how to change your mouse cursor. Can I be a jerk? Yes. Okay. So everyone who sends a message every Plomeek Tea Time who says, Oh my stars, is your cursor the Enterprise or a Constitution <laughs> class? Here, here we are. Yes. And this will, please, for the love of God, shut you up. <laughs> well, it's we only will, been three. People. We will clip this. I don't care. I want all three of them to be silenced. I want this <laughs> tutorial, and we're going to clip it, and we're going to make it a short video in the, your channel, Jill. Of course, mm -hmm. right. and this will be how to make your cursor just like Jill's. And so, actually, I I made sure to erase all the files. So I'm starting over, so okay, that you wow. can see every step that I have to do to do this. Today I'm going to show you a brief tutorial on how to turn your cursor into a starship on Windows 10. Oh man, I didn't know I could get a Miranda class. So the first step is to download the files for the cursor and the ones that I'm using are here on archive.org. And the link I'll put in the description, it's archive.org slash details slash T U C O W S underscore seventeen one nine zero underscore enterprise underscore mouse underscore cursors where enterprise mouse cursors are the, the first letters are capitalized. So first you gotta download the cursors. I like mm -hmm. to download the zip file so you get all the all five images at one time. It has been so long since I've unzipped a file. Do your computer do computers just unzip files naturally now? Yes, they do. Okay. But I still use a utility. So I'm downloading the mm. zip file here. See, this is you why know. I use 7-zip. Okay, well then use that one. You can extract it to track mouse. I install 7-zip because it makes more sense. So there you go. It makes it easier, right? Mm -hmm. Get that program. Oh, the other... Windows finally decided to pop up. It was just taking a long time. Oh, okay. Have you plugged in your Ethernet cable? Have I? Yes, I have. Okay, good for you. So now we got to put them into the cursors folder. So the next thing is to put them, to get another folder up. That's a lot of animated Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. And I was thank just you up again. Folder. No, but thank you again for doing all of the slides on all of the shows that you do. It's incredible. Oh, it, it is so much fun for me to do. I, like, I'm, I, I am, enjoy it very much. How, yeah. Like how many hard drives? Yeah, Jill doesn't I, I just have a lot of space on my Fair hard enough. drive. So for me, the cursor's file is under C drive, was, under okay. Windows, and then cursors. I made the images big so you can see all this. Cool. So these are these are all the different kinds of cursors and all the different modes that your your computer will be in. Mm. So you just bring just cop copy them over. Um, oh, and then you click OK. Yeah. Um, oh, I guess it says it wants um, administrator permission. That's fine. Do this well, for all current items. Yeah. Don't show your password. We're live. Continue. <clears throat> so go. now we have all our little starships here. So then you go to settings, I guess? Yes. Good job, Scotty. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a special little guy. <laughs> you are. I didn't mean to make it sound like that, but... <laughs> yes, we do. Oh, That's right. exactly what happens. Uh, so we go to start settings and devices. Devices, you say? Okay, mouse. Okay. And actually, I want to make, uh, I, I'm going to adjust mouse cursor and size because I want to make it a little bigger. Then I'm going to additional mouse options. Oh, there it is. See? Here. It'll show up somewhere, but you'll be able to find it. And so then go to pointers. And so these are all the states of your mouse here. So for the normal mouse, you browse and you find you just find your starship. It's in here somewhere under E. And so I'm just going to use the regular enterprise. So you want to select enterprise.cur. That's just the ship standing still. So Where's the Miranda one? Oh, you want Reliant? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Reliant's Sorry. there. 
The only problem is it doesn't have an any uh, an animated version of it. Oh, pick an animated one then. So that's why I was picking the Enterprise. My mistake. I'm just, oh. you know what? At the very least, I'm just <clears throat> pointing out that all of the other cursors they're kind of grouped together, but the Reliant you have to scroll down a little further. Yes, because they're in alphabetical order, yeah. not. Is it a ship? Not order. awesome. So then um, for working in the background <clears throat> and busy are the ones where I'll select the enterprise Annie, uh, dot Annie file. Mm -hmm. So here's enterprise. See, they only have they only have the Annie files for the enterprise and the Excelsior. So those are the only two that you can really pick. That'll look cool. Enterprise dot Annie. And I'll select it for this one, too, when it's busy. And there you go. And, and then apply. And that's it. And that is how you make your cursor just <laughs> like Jill's. Thank you for the tutorial. Boy, there are a lot of steps in that, actually. You'll have to figure out, well, whenever your computer is busy, it'll fly so i don't know how to make my computer busy right now but oh, okay maybe you'll see at some point you just people in the chat fans of antiderivative jill we have just solved the question that has been on three of your minds <clears throat> if you would please stop asking i don't like it jim a vessel this size cannot be run by one computer we are attempting to prove that it can run this ship more efficiently than man m5 is ready to take control of the ship total Control. That is what it was designed for, Captain. Did you see the love light in Spock's eyes? The right computer finally came along. 